discovered it. The bladder rack. Oh, y'all wonder where it comes from? Right here! <laughs> <laughs> so that was legendary. Got the fat sacks of the bladder rack. <laughs> Y'all wondering where the bladder rack comes from? It's right here. <laughs> I'm going right off the rocks. Got a bunch more here. But here we go, going right to the source. You know? Exploring, experimenting, not just talking about it and not really interacting with it. You know, that's how we do it. Keep it authentic, keep it real, and gathering as much knowledge as we can from books. But also going and gathering knowledge about where it comes from. Yeah, Rastafero. Blessings of wholeness, family. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Akeem Pierre. If you're new, where you been? It's a quarantine thing. You mean to tell me all a quarantine? You know, watch me videos. <laughs> I'm playing, y'all. Give thanks for tuning in. As y'all saw from the intro, this video is all about bladderwhack. And as my teacher, Honorable Priest Kailash, taught me. It's so important that we become more than just bedroom herbalists. It's so important that we actually go out and experience the herbs and get the actual interaction with the herbs because these are living things and we can't just expect to know everything about them from reading books. So y'all are gonna enjoy this journey with me as I go to Vancouver and I actually find some bladderwrack, I share some amazing benefits and then just some interesting things that I learned about bladderwrack and then we're gonna come back here, return to almost alkaline kitchen, and I'm gonna share with y'all how to utilize this bladder rack and incorporate it into your day-to-day -day life in more than just smoothies. Cause bladder rack actually tastes so good. And I'm gonna share with y'all how to utilize the flavor as well as utilize its health benefits. Give thanks for tuning in. So I'm out here in Vancouver and I found some bladder rack. And even though this is not where I get my bladder rack from, it's still here. So let's just explain it so y'all can actually see what it looks like. So this is the bladder rack and bladder rack is characterized by its little sacks. These sacks that kind of keep it floating above the water, but it actually holds onto the rocks. So as you see here, this is like a piece of a shell, like a, like a coral that it was holding onto and then it broke off and that's why it just washed up on the shore right now. But these are all back there in the water holding on and just like waving their hands in the air. And this bladder whack is found on the coastal regions in the Atlantic Ocean. It's out in the Caribbean and it's out here in the Pacific Ocean. But the thing is about bladder whack and why we don't get it here in Vancouver is because you see all of those big boats. Those are just polluting these waters. And we really don't even like to swim in these waters, much less get food from these waters. So it's very important when sourcing your bladder rack that you make sure it comes from a high quality ocean source because the water, the ocean is really just soil for the marine plants. So whatever is in the water is what's going to be in your bladder rack. So we only get it from the freshest and the purest of waters, but this is exciting to see the bladder rack here. So this is bladder whack, that's bladder whack, that's bladder whack, that's bladder whack, that's bladder whack. As you can see, it's bladder whack in abundance. Beautiful. So let's just go over some of the benefits of bladder whack quick. Uh, actually, let me pick this up. It's so epic to actually be speaking about it while it's in your hand. But some of the benefits, one of the main benefits is for weight gain and weight loss. And this is directly tied to its high content of iodine and iodine is really great for the thyroid and the thyroid is all about energy management how you utilize energy and calories metabolism so when you have a thyroid that works well it helps you so you utilize energy efficiently and effectively which means that some of us need to gain weight so we'll gain weight and those of us that need to lose weight we're gonna lose weight and our thyroid just helps modulate and balance that out so this is amazing this is one of the highest sources of iodine on the planet it's also really great for digestion. It's great for eye health. As we're gonna mention, it is just about the beta carotene and how this beautiful brown color is actually what makes it amazing for our eye health. It's high in vitamin A, it's good for inflammation, joint pain. It's amazing, y'all. Like it just has so many other minerals, as does like a lot of the other seaweed. It is full of minerals, calcium, potassium, magnesium, all of that good stuff, iron. So many people message me say, I'm no longer iron deficient. They've been taking bladder whack. This isn't something that we really need to look in studies. This is just something that 
people have told me from their results. So, you know, you can always try it out and see what happens for you. But um, this is an epic plant. We can go into more benefits at another time. Just wanted to give a quick overview. So something else that's so amazing that I learned about bladderwrack is you see how it has that beautiful greenish brown color to it? That comes from a special type of chlorophyll and also a special type of beta carotene, which helps protect this chlorophyll from the sun and allows it to collect a wider range of the light spectrum. And that allows it to utilize more energy from the sun and absorb more nutrients. And that's why this plant is so powerful because it's able to use so much energy from the sun. It's like a supercharged solar panel made by Earth. Like so much beauty comes from Earth. And something that I just learned watching a documentary last week on Netflix was that these bladder wax and these different seaweeds, they actually glow in the dark in certain light spectrum frequencies. So I'm going to just show a clip of this documentary, but these glow in the dark and in the nighttime it or in the daytime, this beta carotene protects it from the sun and allows it to use more energy and at nighttime it glows. <laughs> y'all nature is always amazing me yo. And a question I get uh, every once in a while is why is my bladder whack so brown? And that's because it's that high grade. Like we were talking about, there are certain properties in the bladder whack that make it, that give it that brown color. So you can think of it, the browner, the bladder whack, the more it has of the fucoxanthin or the beta carotene that helps protect your eyes and helps protect yourself against that blue light frequency. So you choose, you want the green bladder whack or you want the brown bladder whack. And as I think about it, I got this nice bladder whack colored sweater, give thanks. Welcome back y'all. So something I didn't speak about when talking about the benefits at the beach is that bladderwack actually contains vitamin B12. And for those of us that are plant-based, vitamin B12 is very difficult to find. There are not many natural sources of it. So that alone is good enough reason for us to consider taking bladderwack. So now you may be asking, how do I use bladderwack? So I'm gonna show you five different ways that you can incorporate it into your diet. The number one way is to just add it into your smoothies. And for this, you're just going to add one teaspoon of bladder whack powder into your smoothies and blend it regularly. And then some of us really want to add bladder whack and sea moss gel together and then putting that into the smoothie. So for that recipe, what you're going to do is for each dose of sea moss gel that you have, you're going to put half a teaspoon of bladder whack. So in this jar, I have 10 days worth of sea moss. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add five teaspoons of bladder whack and blend it again. And I just put it in the jar to show y'all, but you wouldn't even put it in the jar at all. You just put the bladder whack into the blender when you're blending the sea moss and then that's it. One, two, three, four, five. So there you have it, a nice beautiful gel containing your bladder whack and your sea moss. But while we're here, something you gotta be mindful of is you do not wanna overdo it with the bladder whack. So I wouldn't really recommend making your sea moss and bladder whack gel together all the time because you wanna take your sea moss more than you take your bladder whack. So if you take sea moss seven days a week, you may wanna take bladder whack three to five times a week because bladder whack is so much higher in the iodine content. It's just so much more potent, y'all. So just be mindful and don't feel like you have to use your bladder whack with sea moss. It is amazing on its own and it's so many different ways that we're gonna get into that you could use your bladder whack. So just be mindful. You don't wanna overdo it with the bladder whack, but if you do, now y'all know how to make the gel. And the second way you can incorporate bladder whack into your diet is by making it into a tea or a broth because a broth is really just a tea, right? <laughs> That's so mind blowing, but so simple. How I would do the, the broth is for each two cups of water, you're gonna put one teaspoon of bladder whack. And I'd recommend making up to six to eight cups at a time and also adding different herbs like ginger, put some green onion in there, and then also your favorite mushroom of choice. And what you'll do is you'll put that into a, pa a pot and you'll let that simmer on low for about one to two hours. And what you're gonna have there is a nice concentrated broth with all the goodness that is in 
the different herbs that is in there. And then I would put also some sea moss in there at the end. And then you're gonna actually have a nice, thick, delicious broth. And you could just drink this broth straight up or you can add this to soups or you can use this as the base to cook your fonio or to cook your quinoa. It's one of my favorite ways, y'all. And the third way that you can utilize bladderwack is by topping it on top of your salads or even simply just put it on top of an avocado. So with your salads, after you put all the dressing on it, make it look beautiful, just put about a teaspoon over the salad and you can just sprinkle it on and that's gonna add a nice flavor to your seaweed or to your salad. And then on your avocado, I put a little bit of salt and then I put a little bit of bladder whack, not too much, but just enough there so it covers it. And boom, I have this delicious, amazing, high vibing little snack that is gonna provide me with so much goodness. And the fourth way that you can utilize bladder whack is by adding it to your stews or your stir fry. So bladder whack has that fishy taste, that oceany taste. So what you can do is you can add that to your stews, you can add that to your stir fries, and that's just gonna give it that ocean taste that just adds a little bit more flavor to it. So what you're doing here is you're infusing it with the flavor, but within the flavor, you're also getting all of the high grade healing benefits of the bladder wax. So you really can't lose, y'all. Give thanks. And the fifth way that you can utilize bladder wax is cooking your chickpeas with it. So cookies take a decent amount of time to cook. I personally use an instant pot, so it only takes about 10 to 20 minutes. But what I'll do is I'll put one teaspoon into about three to four cups worth of soaked chickpeas and then a little bit of salt. And then while the chickpeas are cooking, it's gonna infuse with all the goodness that's in the bladder whack and it's gonna give it a nice delicious flavor. And also it's gonna have a lot of the minerals and a lot of the benefits that is in the bladder whack. And I just wanna say one more time, bladder whack is potent. It has so much iodine in it that it was the original way that they got iodine supplementation. So just be mindful if you have any issues with iodine and don't overdo it, y'all. Take your CMOS as much as you want, but be more mindful when it comes to the bladder whack. So there it is, y'all. That's the video for today. Give thanks for tuning in. If y'all are looking for bladder whack and want to make a purchase, we do have some available at www.akeempierre.com. Harvest this straight from St. Lucia. And if not, just keep educating yourself, y'all. I love it, the fact that you're here listening and educating yourself and just wanting to know more about the world around us. It's so important. So once again, much love. If you like the video, like the video. If you wanna share with someone, that would be greatly appreciated. And if you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. Sending y'all love and I'ma catch y'all on the next one. Ja! Rastafaro. Ja is standing by my side. Then how can I be afraid? All right, let's go.